For the first time in over a month, some churches in Oregon and Washington held Sunday services in person today. That is with major adjustments to maintain social distancing. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel is live in Washington County with what kinds of services are back and what's changed. Audrey? Right, Camilla, here in Oregon, the Archdiocese of Portland announced this week that in-person mass can resume limited to 25 people with everyone six feet apart under Governor Kate Brown's executive order. And meanwhile, on the other side of the river, Washington Governor Jay Inslee gave the green light for drive-in church services. It's been a while since the Living Hope parking lot was filled with hundreds of cars, radios tuned into the sermon, and amens echoed in honks. It's awesome to be able to get out during this quarantine time and <laughs> spend time together even if it's in our cars. Yeah, first time in a long time we were able to gather as a congregation. It was really nice. You might remember the Vancouver Church started doing these drive-in services back in March, but then had to stop under Governor Jay Inslee's Stay Home, Stay Healthy proclamation. But now in phase one of Washington's reopening, these services are allowed as long as each car is only occupied by members of the same household, people stay in their car, and windows are closed unless cars are six feet apart. The energy was amazing. It was, it was so cool just to get out and, uh, and, and just see friends and family and people. Uh, you know, we're here for one purpose, and that's to uh, provide hope and encouragement for people. And, you know, it's so much easier to do that in person. In Oregon, this week, the Archdiocese of Portland announced Catholic churches can reopen limited to 25 people, including clergy, under Governor Kate Brown's Stay Home, Save Lives order. At St. Pius X, that means plenty of empty pews, and parishioners must sign up in advance. We have somebody who is literally taking checking names. The sisters are here, and they're seating people, making sure the physical distancing is, is in place. And we've, we've asked all of our parishioners to, to wear masks when they come. Both services offering a glimpse of our new reality. Faith leaders say they plan to take things slow and safe. And both of these churches are still offering services online, streaming those services online rather. And of course, as always, anyone who feels sick should stay home and anyone who is at high risk of getting COVID-19 is also encouraged to stay home. Live in Washington County, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.